How's it going everyone, Dax here, and today we're going to be checking out Cause Cause Art video we're reacting to Could Your Phone Hurt You? Electro Electromagnetic Pollution. So we're going to check it out. We've just recently come back from a heatwave, so if you hear my fan in the background, I am sorry. It's just going to be there. It's just going to be there. And it's been a while for me. It's been about two days. For you guys, it's been like 18 hours since you last seen me, but we are back and we are here. Let's get into it. Um, yeah, so can your phone hurt you? And away we go. Electricity is all around us all the time. Yeah, it yeah. makes our lives easier, safer, more fun, and most of us never think about it. True. But is there such a thing as too much electricity? Could the thing that oh, yeah. is the foundation of the modern world slowly be killing us? Uh, it's possible. Anything in not moderation can kill you. Dum, dum, dum. Before we dive deeper, let's try to understand what electricity is and how it affects us. Electricity is the hey, movement Sonic. of what electric hell? charge. This movement generates electric and magnetic fields that spread out through space and carry energy. Okay. We call this phenomenon electromagnetic radiation. Uh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Radiation is a word that makes people very nervous, but <laughs> to radiate just means giving off. Like when ah, the radiator in your house gives off heat, heat in the form yeah, of yeah. infrared radiation. Okay. Different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum correspond to different types of radiation, and yeah. many of them are perfectly harmless. Some of Visible them can light, be dangerous, really? Oh, radiation, radiation light, with very yeah. short wavelengths, like UV light, X-rays, and gamma rays, are mm. strong enough to rip electrons out of their atoms, which can cause burns and genetic damage. Jeez. This is what many people have in mind when they hear the term radiation. The rest okay, of the yeah, spectrum true. covers a large range of longer waves, from Ooh, visible light, light infrared, infrared, microwave, radio, microwaves to radio electric. waves. This, this, this is the kind of radiation that's emitted by all sorts of human technology. Mobile phones, Wi-Fi routers, electric power lines, and household appliances. Yeah, yeah. This radiation doesn't disrupt molecules in our body. However, ah. some kinds of radiation can stimulate your hair. muscles and nerves. Yeah, yeah. And also make the hair make them stand up on end. Vibrate, which can sometimes cause a tingly feeling above certain yeah, threshold values. Okay. Other kinds are useful for making dinner. Microwaves push the water molecules in your food around, which warms it up. Okay. This happens to us all the time. For example, the pleasant warmth you feel at the beach is your skin heating up from exposure to electromagnetic infrared radiation from the sun. Damn, okay. We are surrounded by natural and generally harmless sources of electromagnetic radiation all the time and always have been. But since the Industrial Revolution, we have added a lot of it to our immediate environment. The question of whether this is actually dangerous first got public attention when a 1979 study linked leukemia to living near power lines. This particular study was quickly discredited, though. Yeah. The connection Boomer take. <laughs> could not be explained, and no direct causal link was confirmed. Okay. But once this had been proposed, the idea persisted, and the thousands yeah. of studies about possible dangers illustrate that it's still seen as a very real threat. A lot of people claim to be sensitive okay. to the radiation coming from our appliances and cell phones. Like, they report symptoms like headaches, nausea, skin reactions, burning eyes, or exhaustion. But those Wait, are just effects reported though? on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. A few studies have found much more unsettling results. Like oh. possible connections between the side of the brain which people use when they're on their phones and the appearance of brain tumors. The I'm question sorry, what? that science is trying to answer is not so much about the acute effects of irradiation. We know, for example, that x-rays cause immediate damage to the DNA in your cells, the longevity. but the same doesn't happen with radio waves. Mm. The question is rather, is the sort of weak electromagnetic radiation we are constantly surrounded by harmful in the long run as a result longevity. of some yeah. as yet unknown mechanism? Yeah. Answering this question was much harder than we first thought. Yeah. There are thousands of primary sources, reports and statements by an onslaught of different organizations. So we read a lot for this video. You can take a look at our research in the video description. Okay. What we found is that this debate is a good example of how science should be communicated and how it shouldn't. Many of the much cited okay. studies that spread panic about electromagnetic radiation are highly controversial. For example, ah. a series of population studies based on surveys and self-reporting. 
What mm. this means is, mm. for example, asking brain tumor patients how much they think they use their phone in the yeah. last few weeks. The problem is that people are unreliable. And also, they put it in their heads like, I guess you were using your phone this much, so obviously it could be your phone, I'm guessing. Is that right? Interviewer says. And then, we tend obviously. To misremember things or can yep. be influenced easily. Yeah, see, top of this, influence studies yep. or media reports may be cherry picking the findings that best suit yeah. their opinion or make for the most exciting headlines. Media sucks, for I example, said it. A study looking for cancer in rats and mice from cell phone radiation. The results seemed to show a connection, but for some reason, okay. only in male rats and huh? not all in mice. But it was reported as if this study did prove that mobile phone radiation causes cancer. Unfortunately, what? this is the case for studies with both positive and negative findings on the issue. Another aspect is that the WHO did officially classify radio frequency oh. fields as possibly carcinogenic, but what this actually means oh. is that there are some hints that they might cause cancer, but we can't prove it and that we will keep huh? an eye out. Okay. So, if we zoom out a bit, like a what's warning the sticker. Big picture? On the whole, there Polygon. is no consistent evidence right. in human studies that electromagnetic radiation below exposure value limits causes health problems. There are but it some doesn't mean they can't say it won't. They're mostly weak and inconsistent. Yeah. If there were any definite cause-effect relations, we would know by now because of yeah. all the data we have. So, okay. based on the current state of science, should you worry about the radiation from your laptop or cell phone or TV? No. The answer is no. You shouldn't. But what about the people that say it is harming them? Well, they're Research idiots. Research shows they could be experiencing what's known as the nocebo effect. Like if placebo, you have a nocebo. If you start feeling better right when you switch off your laptop, you might see a connection between those two things. Yeah. Once you get this suspicion, the idea alone that weak radiation might harm you could be the very thing harming you. It's easy to Damn. believe these people. Most psychological. of them feel not being taken seriously, which makes the situation even worse for them. Yeah, it's a they psychological problem. Support, but it's important to be aware that so far we have no robust evidence that electricity below safety limits has any negative effect on humans. Mm. In the attention economy we live in, talking about unproven dangers can make us neglect things that we know for sure are bad for us. Just one example. Outdoor air pollution is linked to 4.2 million premature deaths each year and Jesus. is definitely something we could have a real impact on today. Mm. Still, to make people feel safe and just to make sure, there are several long-term studies ongoing already. For example, the Cosmos study that will look at the possible health impacts of cell phone use by exactly measuring frequency and duration of phone calls. Oh, that's smart. But while we wait for the conclusion of these long-term studies, there are a lot more pressing problems to focus on. True. Why is there a... S <laughs> the snake with the thing. Jesus. Problems to focus on. Jesus. True, there is a lot more problems to focus on. Okay. That was a really good video, by the way. Um, Yeah, so pretty much don't worry about your phone. It's not it's not harming you. It might do in the long run, but that's not our problem. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out the original in the description down below. Enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Comment which I have to react to next. Subscribe if you're new or just haven't yet. I will see you in the next video. <gasps> Stay healthy and watch your phone. Laters.